Start with a slip knot. Then make chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. Now work for round 1. First make 3 chain 1, 2 and 3. This 3 chain count as 1 double crochet. Now make 11 double crochet in the center of the circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So continue up to end. It will turn total 12 double crochet including this chain. So here I have completed the first round. Now slip stitch in this third chain. Now work for round 2. Make 3 chain. This 3 chain count as 1 double crochet. Now make 1 double crochet in same stitch. So here I have got 2 double crochet. Now make 2 double crochet in next stitch. 1 and 2. Make 2 double crochet in next stitch. 1 and 2. Make 2 double crochet in next stitch. 1 and 2. So the pattern is make 2 double crochet in next stitch. So make 2 double crochet in each stitches up to end. It will turn total 24 double crochet including this chain. So here I have completed the second round. Now in the last slip stitch in this third chain. Now work for round 3. First make 3 chain. This 3 chain count as 1 double crochet. Now make 1 double crochet in same stitch. So here I have got 2 double crochet. Make 1 double crochet in next stitch. Make 2 double crochet in next stitch. 1 and 2. Make 1 double crochet in next stitch. So let's see the pattern again. Make 2 double crochet in next stitch. 1 and 2 and make 1 double crochet in next stitch. So 2 double crochet, 1 double crochet, 2 double crochet, 1 double crochet. Continue up to end. It will turn total 36 double crochet including this chain. So here I have completed the third round. Now slip stitch in this top of chain. Now work for round 4. First make 3 chain. This 3 chain count as 1 double crochet. Now make 1 double crochet in same stitch. So here I have got 2 double crochet. Then make 1 double crochet in next 2 stitches. 1 and 2 make 2 double crochet in next stitch 1 and 2 make 1 double crochet in next 2 stitches 1 
and two so let's see the pattern again make two double crochet in next stitch one and two and make one double crochet in next two stitches one and two so make two double crochet one double crochet in next two stitches make two double crochet make one double crochet make one double crochet so continue up to end it will turn total 48 double crochet including this chain so here i have completed the fourth round now in the last slip stitch in this top of chain now give a knot and cut the extra yarn now take another yarn give a slip knot insert the yarn in any stitch now work for round 5 now we will make the V stitch so first make 3 chain this 3 chain count as 1 double crochet now make 2 chain this chain 2 count as chain space now make 1 double crochet in same stitch so this is the first V stitch now in the next skip 2 stitch then make 1 double crochet in next stitch make 2 chain make 1 double crochet in same stitch skip 2 stitch then make 1 double crochet make 2 chain make 1 double crochet in same stitch so this way make the V stitches so let's see the pattern again skip 2 stitch make 1 double crochet make 2 chain then again make 1 double crochet in same stitch so continue up to end so here I have completed the fifth round now in the last slip stitch in this third chain 1 2 and 3 in this third chain now give a knot and cut the extra yarn now take another yarn give a slip knot insert the yarn in any two chain space now work for round six this is last round now i will make the tulip stitch so first make three chain this three chain count as one double crochet now make four double crochet in same chain space one two three and four now pull the yarn now insert the hook in this third chain one two and three in this third chain now take the loop through it now make two chain make single crochet in this gap here is a little bit gap so make single crochet 
make two chain make single crochet make two chain then again make single crochet so this is the first tulip stitch then make two chain make single crochet in this double crochet gap then again make two chain so now again make the tulip stitch so make five double crochet in this chain space one two three four and five now pull the yarn insert the hook in this first double crochet stitch then pull the loop through it now make two chain make single crochet in this hole make more two times make two chain make single crochet then again make two chain then again make single crochet make two chain make single crochet in this double crochet gap then make two chain again make the tulip stitch again make five double crochet in this chain space one two three four and five now pull the yarn insert the hook in this first double crochet stitch then pull the loop through it make two chain then make single crochet in this hole make more two times make two chain make single crochet make two chain then again make single crochet make two chain then make single crochet in this gap so this way make the tulip stitch so here i have made a tulip stitch now let's see the pattern again first make two chain then make five double crochet in this chain gap one two three four and five pull the yarn insert the hook in this first double crochet stitch then pull this loop through it make two chain so here is a hole in this back side so make single crochet again make this pattern two times make two chain then make single crochet make two chain then make single crochet so this is the tulip stitch then make two chain and single crochet in this double crochet gap so this way continue all the rounds so here i have completed the petals now in the last make two chain and slip stitch in this third chain one two and three in this third chain now give a knot 
and cut the extra yarn secure this yarn with a needle or you can use crochet hook like this now cut this extra yarn so this is tulip flower coaster thanks for watching